Well here we are on a wonderful trip to uh, the south of France or mid-south um, in the Vienna area, in the cruise area. Uh, we're looking at the Sorrent. Um, I'm looking at poss the possibility of buying a property over here and uh, obviously you needed to come and see the areas beforehand because we are thinking of making this move and it's a big step even to have a second home. Uh, I need the fishing, I need the painting, I need the lifestyle, I need it to be accessible, I need um, the right prices and everything else. And at my age there's a lot to be considered, as well as the relationship and everything else. So anyway, here we are, um, just on a little trip out to a beautiful village now, which we'll take you to in a moment. Uh, but this is just the beginning of the film, to give you an introduction. Um, you can see behind me a lovely field of sunflowers, I'm about to paint those in a moment. And uh, as I say, um, I'm looking at the fishing as well in the area. So far the rivers are absolutely beautiful and the area is absolutely fantastic. I'm not quite so sure what the fishing is like. It seems to have been very hard hit by the French who, nearly, who tend to eat everything that they catch. But we'll see, you have to have a good look round. Anyway, um, I hope you'll enjoy this trip with me. I'm going to show the painting separately. I'll show the, the paintings as a separate film and just a little brief bit here about it. Um, but this is just an introduction to this main film where I'm going to take you on our travels around looking at properties in France. So you'll see the properties we're looking at and get an idea and the prices and so on. And also the various landscapes and how it changes. And it's beautiful. I mean, it's like the best of England in a way. Uh, like parkland and so on. Um, at a fraction of the price and unspoilt. And on the roads, hardly a vehicle. You can drive for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, not see anybody. Right.
<laughs> yeah, because I if I get all the film of Oh yes. Oh, I would like See the big ones. I would like to build. Yeah. No, that's true. It's not dark.
Hi, we're, we're Peter and Julie Riemann. Um, we live at uh, La Forge here, um, originally from the northeast of Scotland. Um, we gave up uh, the rat race, downsized down into our old camper van, travelled around Europe for a little while, looking for a little bit of paradise. Uh, we found it here in the Creuse. Um, over the years, uh, we've built up this uh, little place that's been abandoned for, it was abandoned for about 30 odd years. And we've created um, an almost self-sufficient lifestyle here. Um, a few years ago, we, um, <laughs> we've just recently completed a little cottage here so that um, other people can share in, uh, in what we have. Um, you're very much into self-sufficiency, aren't you? You've got goats and sheep yeah. and we had fresh eggs given by you and when we arrived it was wonderful. There was, you know, we had some cheese and wine or well, everything was here and your, your gardens are amazing. We'll show you these later in the film um, and you'll see that they're, they're, they're almost totally organic here. And that, what we want to ask you about later, I'm going to film it shortly, is that wonderful little tank you've got there that's got hot water in it, almost like a jacuzzi, <laughs> where you built yeah. bottles and clay around the outside of the thing. Yeah. Is that the little jacuzzi then or what is it? It's, it's a hot tub. It's yeah? a wood-fired hot tub. Oh, wood-fired? Yes. A it actually <laughs> seems to keep... Does it keep warm on its own, though, with just the clay? Or have you actually warmed uh, that, that up? That helps to insulate it, yes. Yeah. That insulates it very well, and so... It's Show me around that later, then, because it looks fascinating, that. Yeah, it's lovely. You should have had your camera out last night, because <laughs> it was being well used. Yeah. Well, we <laughs> attempted to get in it last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And do you have to retop it up then from the source because it goes green after a while with the yes, water? Yes, yeah. every, every few days and then when it's emptied it waters the garden so it doesn't go to waste. The water is used for what we're watering the tomatoes. And they pass on, just down in the little pond here, they've got um, nice carp and some fishing here if anybody wants to bring their rods with them when they're staying. But there's also crayfish, which I've just been down to do this morning. Mm -hmm. And as you saw earlier on, uh, I've caught oh, a dozen or so there. And while I was there I did a little painting. And... Um, They've decided that that's the one they'd like to keep because it's personal to them. Yeah, it's uh, instantly recognisable as the view as you walk down to the pond from the from the jeet. From right. The Anything else you'd like to add for the for the viewers? Um, <laughs> I can't think right now. Well, you're very reasonably priced here. I mean, you know, this is the cheapest place I've ever stayed, and the quality is fine. People are very friendly here. The, the, the natives don't eat you. Lots of cats and things to do for the kids. You know, it's great, the dog. Um, so, yes, we would totally recommend this place, and we shall be coming back, I'm almost certain. potato. With French saucisson. 
slightly spicy Mergans. Is it Mergans or Mergo? In other words, the French sausage or saucisson. Not the same as the English sausage, but it's going to come with an Aveyron dish that we used to like called Allegro, which is a mashed potato which is very plastic with um, mashed potato and cheese, and it's uh, a very filling but delicious dish.